Hey guys, welcome to another daily video blog. We're on Wednesday midweek. I hope you've enjoyed Tuesday and Monday's video blog and um, it's definitely good to get back into this. Um, I need to get back to commenting and replying to all of you guys on all of your comments, um, which I'll be doing today. Um, but today's video blog is going to give you an update on my R8. Um, of course, yesterday I was in my uh, beautiful courtesy car, the baby blue Fiat 500, which had no oomph whatsoever. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to give you an update on the part that has arrived in Audi. So it's in stock and ready for me to go and collect and I'll show you and also tell you a little bit about what it will do and how it will improve my car, which uh, the main improvement will be that it actually goes into gear right from the word go. Um, another really exciting bit of um, news that I wasn't expecting arriving at SB in the morning is downstairs, um, we recently uh, booked in an Audi R8 V8 2013 for an Armitrix exhaust system, which will be number two um, in the country that has the Armitrix exhaust system fitted, but it's a convertible. It's an Audi R8 V8 Spider. Now, my car sounds amazing with the windows down, but to think that um, a convertible Audi R8 with Armitrix exhaust system, it is going to sound lethal. So I cannot wait to uh, hopefully bring you guys some footage tomorrow when the uh, exhaust gets fitted. Um, I'm really excited. I mean, I was excited about my exhaust system, but now I know that there's a convertible one getting an Armitrix exhaust system. It's uh, truly going to be astonishing sound. Um, but also just the connection that you'll have with the exhaust system and you driving. I'm not going to be driving the car, um, but it's still going to be absolutely insane. So I'm going to hope that the uh, owner can take me out in the car or at least give it a few revs when he comes to pick it up. And I hope that he's uh, happy with it because I think he saw my videos and then wanted the Army Tricks exhaust system. So... Uh, that's a really, really exciting uh, thing to look forward to tomorrow. And um, yeah, we're just going to have some fun today. Talk to you about the uh, Audi R8 or the current situation of my R8. And um, yeah, we're going to head down to Audi, get the part. And um, yes, yeah, so hopefully this daily video blog will give you a good update on the health uh, of my car. There's a Signum that we're going to go down in. Wheels look quite similar to mine. Let's go and check them out. They're not projects wheels. God, mine are dirty. Problem is, I can't move my car to get it washed. So it's absolutely filthy. See army tricks. That was a camper van. Epic. Back to the army tricks. Titanium. Looks ridiculous. So, time to head down to Watford Audi. Look how dusty it is. See if we can see. God. Poor R8. Two cars in two days. First a Fiat 500. Now we're on a Vauxhall Signum. What you've just seen in the video. I don't know how big the engine is. All I know that this car is massive. It's an estate or a um, shooting brake. I like calling it it's a, a bit like the Mercedes shooting brake. Not too much power, a little bit more than a Fiat 500. But um, it's so hot in here, we've got black leather and it's like 25 degrees outside. So, uh, heading down to Audi to pick up my part. I'll be driven on the way back, chauffeur driven on the way back. Bob. So, uh, I'll be able to give you guys a better update on the part that is going to make my Audi work right from the word go, from when I immediately start it up. There we go. Oh. Seatbelt, <laughs> ruining the video. Coming back from Watford Audi with what looks to be the part that will fix my car. A lot smaller than I was expected. 
apparently they're really easy to fit. <laughs> With my pers personal technician from SB Race Engineering being chauffeured back, I'll get it out of the box. This is going to fit into my car somewhere and apparently fix it. If it doesn't, then I'll give my car back. Time for another update on the video blog. We've just got back from Watford Audi uh, with my part, as you saw as I was getting chauffeured back in the luxury Vauxhall Signum. As you can see, the part is a lot smaller and a lot more odd odd looking than I was expecting. Um, I just thought because it was something to do with the gearbox and the clutch um, that the part would be absolutely huge. But it's tiny and that's down to the fact that that sits behind the pedals. Um, it's to do with the master hydraulics of the clutch pedal which um, is the issue which is also one of the issues why my engine light keeps coming on as well. So we're hoping and praying that that will resolve the problem in terms of my clutch not working um, properly um, as I start it up on a cold start, um, which fingers crossed will mean that my car is a lot better to drive um, in within the first five to 10 minutes of actually taking off. Um, the bad news is because I'm going on holiday on Sunday and SB haven't got the time to fit it today or tomorrow, uh, down to the fact that the Army Tricks exhaust system is getting fitted to that R8 V8 Spider tomorrow. Um, it's not going to happen in time for me to drive it before Portugal, so we're going to book it in for a week and a half time week and a half's time um, for when I get back from Portugal. I'm gonna film it all, I'll film the whole, this is a really delayed post Gumball 3000 health check really, because it's due a service. It's um, obviously due this clutch um, replacement, hydraulic replacement, and also just gonna have a good old check over of the car, just to make sure that the whole car is working as, as well as it can do, um, so that it can serve me well for YouTube. I can continue making awesome videos. Uh, one awesome video to come is the reaction video which I'm seriously looking forward to uploading. Uh, we've caught some really cool actions, uh, reactions and of course the valves were on the whole time as I was filming that so that's a really exciting video to come. When I get back from Portugal I've got about a week um, in London when I'll be filming some of the supercars that are arriving from the Arab states and I'll also be filming a bit of a documentary for the YouTube channel just about uh, what I do for a living, um, how I've got to where I am etc etc. UK Vibe TV TV are creating their video which I'm looking forward to seeing and sharing with you guys. Oh, my throat keeps doing funny things. Funny things called a burp. Um, but when I come back from Portugal I'll be doing some filming there and then I head off to Monaco uh, with Parata della Strada, my clothing sponsor. Uh, we're heading out to Monaco to do uh, some filming. There's going to be some amazing video blogs from there, hopefully going to be catching some really really cool and unique supercars out in Monaco um, and chasing them through the streets, through the tunnel, through the Formula One track etc. So I'm really really excited about the two to three weeks to come um, and then of course during August uh, if you've been following my Supercars of London channel uh, for the past five years, August is known to be one of the best times to see some supercars in London. So I'll be in London again every single day filming for you guys and hopefully being able to bring you two to three videos per day on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. So I hope this video has been an inform or in informative uh, video uh, for you guys to see what's, what part is needing replacing in my car and um, giving you an update on when the car will be ready. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe. The phone's ringing, so I'm going to have to go and get that. See you later.